So some of, uh, uh, if, if you've seen some lack of enthusiasm amongst some rheumatologists, I think it partly has to do with the fact that the JAK inhibitors, although used in rheumatoid arthritis for a number of years, have only recently been approved for psoriatic arthritis and n none are approved in a for uh, axial spondyl arthritis. We're now seeing very strong data uh, with several of these agents, Filgotin, I mentioned uh, upadacitinib. So I'm thinking that as more of this high quality data starts to appear and as clinicians gain more experience using the medications and, and, and indeed have um, good, better, uh, pretty good safety results uh, with the drugs that they're going to be more comfortable and interested in using them. And I can tell you that patients are very interested. The idea of once a day oral, uh, especially for, for example, I live in Seattle uh, and I work with people that work in, for businesses where they have to do a lot of travel, uh, getting through TSA, uh, worrying about and not having to worry about refrigeration at the other end of the line. These are things that are important. These lifestyle considerations, if you will, are important for people. So having an, an effective oral medication is going to be important.